while I started the stream here. So I was in like place 15 or so. Uh, yeah, queue times haven't really gotten much better recently. Um, it really sucks in that aspect. Um, I, I still can't believe that the maximum amount of players right now, at least, is literally... Um, wait, let me see. Do I still need to get another uh, fish? Don't think so. Um, so right now, the maximum players, I think, is 2,000 players per server. That's, I don't know. For across this entire area, 2,000 players. I mean, yeah, that's kind of a good amount, but I, I don't know. I feel like they would be capable of handling more, but I guess not. Um, so, yeah, uh, it... it Put me into about an 800 player queue today before getting online. Um, so I did my best, uh, you know, keep myself busy uh, between that time. I joined about four o'clock and it's just about now seven. Uh, no, I was actually like 4.30 is when I joined. So about the two and a half hour queue has been what I've been going through for the most part. Um, Playing on the server with my boys, uh, the rebels. Apparently, they, uh, I'm a console. Interesting. So I can invite officers. They have that. Can speak in console. Interesting. I guess they promoted me from set settler to console. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Thank you very much, uh, rebels. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, I don't know what or how long tonight's stream will go. I'm going to try to do a stream tomorrow as well, tomorrow morning. Potentially two streams, actually. Uh, possibly tomorrow morning and then possibly in the afternoon, too. But we'll see on that part. Um, so yeah. Uh, what are we looking for, really? Honestly, we're looking for rabbits, turkeys, and briar bushes. Oh, that's why it wants me to go because briar bushes are right here. That's why. Yep, I remember this quest now, too. Um, last night I actually created a character, uh, well, second character and played about 30 minutes or so on a different server and I was able to get into that server instantly. It just sucks because like right now, if you want to play with your friends, like um, since me and these guys are on a higher population server, we're kind of just stuck here for now. And yeah, um, and you could only have one character per server. If you could have more than one, then I would gladly make a second character and just continue playing them until server migrations are like fully a possibility. And at that point, I would uh, migrate back to the server. But that is not the case, fortunately. Um, where does this want me to go? Old stone remembers. Where is that? Number two. Oh, number two is all the way down there. I have one that's right here that we can knock out. Let's go do this real quick. Oh wait, there's a rabbit. Is. So yeah, that's kind of been the uh, the whole scenario with New World currently. I. Uh, I still enjoy it. I, I want to play more. Like, every time I get into it, I'm like, oh, wow, this game's cool. I want to play more, but it's that queue time that, like, yes, you can join another server, but that kind of defeats the purpose. And when you have a, a total of, like, 30 people coming together to play on one server together, uh, having to make everybody change servers yet again is not something that would be 
really uh, realistic. Especially for those who have already put in a good amount of time. Alright, so we got that. Did I ever pick this up? No. I pick up this though. Bronded head up cap. Yo, Zoltan. Yo, thank you for the like, man. Appreciate it. How you doing? Nice, nice. You get one more kill here. I got all the. I need turkeys. I need more turkeys. Oh, Beautiful. Uh, those are taken care of. Where else do we have to go? It looks like. I mean, we have an objective all the way up here, but that's still level 14. Um, I think our next objectives then are down here, three and four. So let's tag those two for now. I don't know if the the turkeys are more likely to be out here in the in the wild, like as you're running through the the grass, or if it's better for me to. Oh no, oh, there's a turkey right there. So. Sorry. Wow. Two for one. <laughs> Beautiful. It's like this game's actually going to be sick. Enjoy. I'm about to pass out. All right, man. Uh, have a good night's sleep. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's, it's cool so far. It's just the... Uh, um, the whole view time is a, a pain right now. We're playing on the server that you originally started on. So, besides that, though, it's, I mean, it is fun. It's a grindy game, but the world's cool, and there's other stuff to it, too. This is another turkey. I'm really low on arrows right now, so I need to, whenever we get chance, I'm going to have to make some more arrows, or, I don't know, figure something out. Grab this. Is that cabbage? It is cabbage. So pretty much just follow the road here. Down south some more. Through Merrill's pa place. I almost said palace. Ugh. My family's actually eating dinner right now, but I'm nervous to go eat because I don't want to get kicked from the game. I don't know how long the uh, the timer is. I don't know if it's like a 10 minute timer or if it's like a, I don't know, longer than that. But, eh. Uh, so number, we need to hit hunt, hint, hunt some uh, valley puma around the elder gate skin them for large fang and then we also need to uh let me see if i can i make any arrows yet no i need green wood and flint all right get out of here chop down this tree That's a different tree. I thought that tree came back up just like that. I get this tree now. And we do need a little bit of flint. So if we see any on the ground, I'll get, I'll get those. Um, did I get all the turkeys that I need? 
Um, I don't actually I don't see that marked anymore. How many more turkeys do I need? Um, talk to. We needed one more. Now I need one more at least. I'll take. I'll take this. It's not. It's not kill it and then not take the feathers. You know. Gotta. Gotta make use of it. Of it. Uh, we need, we need more flint. We really, in reality, if we had more flint, then we may be able to make so many. Um. Things. So many arrows. On there's the flint. I, f I forget if there's like a specific like a not a boulder because boulder gives you stone. But I forget if there's something specific that actually gives you flint. Um, I'll be chased. I really need to make at least like I don't know. I need like ten flint. If I have that, then I'm good, and then I can make uh like a hundred arrows. Then we'd be good. I right, started like getting so tired. Ugh. Okay. Give me the flint. Where? You think it would be out here on like the, the road? It's not. I haven't seen any yet. Okay, well, I guess we're going in with our hatchet right now. This guy is level 22 out here. I swear, some of these animations and stuff uh, really remind me of RuneScape. Like, like it's uncanny how, uh, how much it, re it reminds me of it. The combat style sometimes too, like all the grinding. Nice. All right, I'm gonna try and like rush these and grab uh, many of those as I can. Is there any flint out here? Come on, there's gotta be some. Gotta be some. Really? Oh, uh, that's some. Here we go. There we go. There's one. Grab as much as I can of this. Giant boulder. Wind sword. Uh, territory gathering speed. Let's do territory standing. No wise one. That's some more. There's one right here. All right, that's ten flint. We should be able to make a hundred arrows now. Uh, then we'll have to go back in and try to get those two more. There's only uh, two chests we need in this area. That's not too bad. Let's make hundred arrows. Boom. Bing bang boom. Whip those things out. Let's go swap to my arrows. There's one right here. There's that. And where's the final one? Somewhere in here. I would assume. Oh, it's that giant one. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're not going to get it in time. All right, go again. Go again. No, are you. S oh, my God. Ah! Seriously? Oh no! I swear to God. 
I thought that monster thing was gonna come in here too. Come after this. All right, there we go. Got all those. Let's go to number three. And then after number three, I think we can recall back to the camp at that point. Uh, we got a new mastery point, so let's put it into this here. Let's get our third ability. Bam. Uh, there's starting to be a lot more corruption showing up here. Corrupted monolith. This area is really covered. We got cutlass keys. Ebon scale reach. Nice. That's actually a good, good, uh, large territory area. Oh man. Oh God. Really, I would miss. Ouch. Beautiful. Sorry. Take the, uh, what is this? The large fang here. I think they really increased the uh, respawn of like everything. I remember in the beta or the technical preview, either one of those, like it wasn't horrible, but it definitely took some time for certain things to, um, it, could, it definitely had its moments where it was pretty bad or felt pretty bad for things to respawn. This, I, I feel like it's not so much. Jeez. All right, we just need one more after this. One more to kill and one more to skin. I hate how they keep those kind of two separate things. <laughs> this guy's trying to get it. <laughs> He's trying so hard. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> there you go dude kill it there you go oh my gosh all right we need one more puma it's crazy you can really you can honestly treat this game as like a, a survival hunting game um, and, and it's perfect in, in my opinion for the survival aspect because you don't have to manage your food You don't have to manage your uh, Your drinking like all that like they could have did that in this type of game and it, it might have felt pretty good um, For a lot of people but personally like that's the one thing that I actually don't like a lot of times about survival games Is like having that constant timer um, unless if it's very casual, it's very casual, then it's, it's different, but I don't know. It can get a little tiring too, at least for me. Um, but that's situational. It's some people love it. Some people aren't the biggest fan either. And either way, whatever people's choice. Um, still looking for that final boom somewhere. I guess this is a good area to get those. Uh, is it something like I need rawhide for a quest, or is it just do that skin linen? I don't know if you have to craft it. Craft it. Dragon glory. That is one crazy. Uh, Thing there uh okay sun's starting to go down still need this final puma once we get it then we can uh fast travel back to the area it's got to be somewhere uh, i think i see is that a puma right there like all the way out there it is can we take the shot and we hit it 
Wow, we hit it again. Headshot. Okay, final. There it is. Just like that. We got it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, recall back to the inn here. Yes. Pretty sure we got everything out here, at least. Uh, I accidentally tapped A. Or I mean space, not A. We got six quests to hand in, which is nice. New world acti inactivity timer. Okay, so you have 20 minutes. And at uh, 25, you automatically... Well, at 25, you get booted. Basically, from what, I, from what the internet says. Oh, there's the ingredients I need. Armor case. When I say this, a second ago. So I had ordered shipments of coins from that frame rates really goes down every time you hit the city here. Kinda be oh, pretty bad sometimes. You say. Um <laughs> we can pick up this. Oh it's not I mean sure. If you want to volunteer level twelve. About to be level fourteen. Very close to it, at least. My blade, my and then, Choose your next uh, do, are these completed? Nice. 320, 320, 320. That XP is horrible. Dear God. Town Hall. So, the patrol from Marnock's Bluffs had already... The truth is that that would... Well, I am not sure why she needs the blocks, but it must be for something important. On 25 Turkey, sure, I'll take that. Is quite some distance to the south, so be prepared. Forge and deliver uh, crude iron armaments. No, thank you. Uh, 10. Starting to look at the, the XP rewards for some of these. Who can deliver a glazed chicken rations? We can take that. It's fun. Uh, 300. Like some of these are literally so low. I am not sure why she needs the blocks, but it must be for something important. Try to make another one. Settlement of first light is quite some distance to the top. Okay. Got two actually upgrades here. Uh, territory standing wind sword got some xp bonus i'll take that and character i'm gonna keep going dexterity because we've still been using the bow a lot i thought i was gonna use the bow as a secondary but i i've been enjoying it my blade so my life sticking with that for now your next contribution um, let's to our see cause. 13 12 14. Let's pick up these and see what's close. I feel like it's really about playing the what quests are closest together in this game in this. Because uh, some of them are. Jeez. You and map. Okay, that one's all the way up there. Uh, I just hit 14. I I'll wait until I'm 15 to go up there. I'd rather be a little bit over level. You, you kind of run into a good amount of enemies. And, uh, yeah. Where is... The question is, where's the food? The kitchen, there it is. I'm going to try to see if I can make this, uh... Uh, was it... The chicken thing? Oh, this right here. And we need cooking oil. Derived from kitchen tier two. Oil. How do we make it? We need fish oil. 
and nuts. Derived from nut cluster. Wait, do, do you get nut clusters from in here? Nut. No. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, we can try buying some. Let's see how much some cooking oil. It's, te it's technically like buying XP. Pretty much. Cooking. How much is it? 39. What the hell, dude? There's only one person selling it. There you go. Eight of them would be 296. Well, how many, how many do you need? I think it was like five. Good God. Uh, what about not? What was it? You needed, uh, fish. Fish oil. Jeez, even fish oil sells for a lot. A lot of people aren't fishing, I guess. 18? 18 is the lowest. Yes. Um, maybe I'll drop that one. Because <laughs> there's not really any point. Where's this at? Is it still in here? I oh, know it's all the way up there. What the hell? Why is that all the way up there? Is that a... Oh, it's a side story. That's why. Uh, reeling all those. Wow. So I guess we actually reeled in the last fish that I caught, even though my game crashed. Uh, travel to Moe's farm and recover the abandoned corn and strawberries. Uh, where is this at? Well, actually, I can look at the map anyways. We have one, two, four, five, six. We're all nearby each other, which is nice. Uh, it's actually just south of this, too. 50 stone blocks to Constable Oaks in the First Light Settlement. Stone blocks. What is that? I wonder what that's considered under. Uh, wood shop. Wood shop's right here. There it is. There's nobody on the wood shop. Oh, no, there's the timber. We need timber for something apparently. Woodworking level ten. Stone cutting table, loom, linen, fibers, outfitting, craft stone blocks for constable oaks. How do you get those? Acquire and deliver 50, acquire or craft stone blocks for constable oaks. stone I don't know what's considered what is a stone block uh, I guess we can go to the trading post and see if there's anything about it there Cut stone mainly for upgrade for parts. Stone cutter tier two. Stone cutting table. So it's this thing right here then. Stone block. Here we go. 50 of them. Jesus. We can only make four. Oh my god. <laughs> we need 50 for a side quest. Travel to Eldergate to begin your hunt. It's number two. Level 18. I mean, 14. Not 18. How much is a stone block if we buy one? What? Oh my god. Nine cents? Sure, I'll buy 50 of them. 
Don't mind if I do. Three. Oh my god. Jesus. That's a little much. Uh, how much do I have now? Well, let me buy like uh 40. Yeah, 88 coins. Sure. No problem there. Uh, now wait, where do we have to deliver it to? Uh, all the way down there. Oh, great. Wait, we have to deliver 80 down there? Wind sword enemy. Everfall, Everfall. So those two quests are in Everfall. Uh, 14, 13, 10, 14. These we can get rid of now. They're literally level 10 stuff. That's fine. Is this from my area right now? I'm gonna actually fast travel back up to here. Wait, we only have one quest to turn in. I thought we had more. It's just this one. We have one side quest available up there. One, two, three, four. Okay, Um, chat, hold on for just like five minutes. I'm gonna try to take like a five minute break, eat something real quick, and then we will continue. So I'm actually going to set a timer on my phone too. So that way I don't get logged out. I will be right back. So I'm just going to leave it right here on the screen.
All right, chat. I am back. So, we'll get moving in just a second here. Um, <clears throat> still eating a, a little something so I'm gonna start running as uh as I'm having that past this wolf. We're good now, so uh, keep it keep it moving. So collect crates of corn as I'm getting eaten by this level six wolf. All right, let me uh, let me grab this uh, camp right here, so that way I can respawn if I need to. We got one and three so one is collect the crate uh two is uh well collect crates and collect baskets from moe's farm and then uh also defeat eight of the withered here okay is so much more difficult. a little bit of a uh, close one made it out alive
Uh, wow, we already got the first objective done. Okay. Well, one of. Still need to get one more kill. We got two and three or four over there. I feel like he's barely resting right now or barely uh, regenerating. Rested. Okay, so number two. Well, there's actually two and four. Collect majestic elk antlers from woodland stags in Eldergate. Okay. And then hunt valley pumas. Same thing. Is it from woodland stags oh okay so we're actually back literally in the same area i was just hunting at so the stags you just need to collect two and then the the pumas you need to kill eight i mean six um, it's a very clear difference. I love the range on the, uh, the bow. anybody here for this iron no don't mind if i do don't mind if i do I do like how how good like the area like the land looks in this game it's very very good a lot of the times first light i hear the uh the stags being killed oh here's a well just need a Hunt them. You know, I'm, I'm amazed that in this game, like just thinking of it right now, why didn't they do a uh, a game where you create your character, but then you can load into any world? Like, it doesn't matter what server you're on. I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess, never mind. 
Well, they still could do giant factions, like faction wars and stuff, technically. So, not like they couldn't do them at all. Hit. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Killed one, we need to hunt five more. How are we on bag uh, stuff? We're pretty good on that. Wow, we got an animal eye, okay. Okay. We only need to hunt two stags. To kill, or I mean, um, We're literally on the on the border. Yeah, you can see it. Crossing the river oh, basically puts you into uh, the other territory we're standing. Okay, there's Puma. I think I see one. So they actually highlight very, very little. Oh god, one right here. There's three. We need three more. And then after that, then we just need to go search for a chest uh, for the sealed bur or a sealed document at the burrow. So I think there's a stag right there actually running into the wall. Oh no, that's a player. Never mind. Never mind. I thought this was well. I know this is one, but you can't skin it like bugged fortunately a new dancer takes the stage I will say, like, just, like, standing here and, like, seeing, like, that's another player that's just running around this world that we're in right now. Like, it's pretty cool to see that kind of thing. I swear to God. No! You dickhead. Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh wait, no, I already got it. Okay, cool. It drops on the ground. Whew. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh my god, I would have been like, what the hell, dude?
All right, well, you still get the thing, so that's nice. The um, majestic antler. So, all right, we're good. Whew. I feel like that guy was taunting me, taunting me to to get it before he, uh, well, when he killed it. We kill just uh, three more Pumas now. I remember being out here like for, I don't, I don't know if it was the same area during the beta or maybe a different one, but I remember being in an area similar to this, like just spending a whole like hour looking for, um, I could get that iron, but I'm going to let him get it because he probably wants it. Yeah. Fine. Just need the boomer. The boomer. The boomer. Guy's still running into the wall. Is that one? I think that's one. No, it's a doe. Bro, where the hell are these Pumas? Oh great, the corruption's here too. I need the Puma. The Puma. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? There's one. Come on, you. Oh, shoot. Common potion. All right, we need two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Give me two more. It's actually a good smart or. Good smart. <laughs> Good idea. Oh my god. There's one. There's one. We are implementing a feature to initiate, uh, indicate if a world is full. Uh oh. Oh wait. Hold on. Jay, I don't need that stuff. No! Oh my god, dude, you killed it so fast. I need one more. Uh I'm gonna read their tweet in a second here. As as I'm traveling back somewhere, I'll read their tweet. They uh New World just put out a tweet about implementing something i wonder if it's just going to straight up block people from joining <laughs> and there's no way but it's so hard to tell like i mean you can you can view worlds and stuff um for uh where are we? There's a Puma. Can we get nice? Nice. Do 
Beautiful. There it is. Number four. All right, let's go get that done. Okay, so what did they say? Uh, greetings, adventurers. Due to the in incredible demand we have seen for New World, we are working hard to increase the number of servers and increase capacity of all available servers. We are also implementing a system to prevent new players from creating a new character on full servers. Oh boy. Whenever a server is full, the server will be grayed out with the message character creation temporarily disabled on the server to prevent overpopulation. This does not affect any characters already created on the server. You will be able to log in as usual. At that time, we have put in 28 world. At this time, we have put 28 worlds in full status. But keep an eye out on our server status page since the list of worlds can change from hour to hour. We appreciate your patience and understanding while we work towards you. Bring towards bringing you the optimal player experience. Thank you for your support. We'll see you in the team. Well, okay. So they're going the uh, Final Fantasy style. Like, hey, server's full. Can't create a character right now. So you'll just have to wait until like specific times to create one, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm glad we, uh, that's a, it's a pain when you're trying to create a new character in it. And it's crazy how early on we are in this game but at the same time that'll help populate smaller servers so um the only thing is it's gonna suck for somebody who is like like three or four of their friends are already on one server and now they can't create a ser uh, a character on their friend server until it's not full anymore so in that case not bad um, search chests. How many chests are there? over here <laughs> here's one all right uh number one it wants me to go all the way over there Retrieve crates from corn and uh, from strawberries and then collect fish from fish traps and frolic. Return to the there once you're done. Okay. So technically, yeah, we could go do that. We just need to get that at that location. Then that's not horrible. Just going to be a little bit of a walk. Get to the main road and then from there, basically just following it south. And then until you have to turn right. So. The journey begins. Huh. So that's interesting that they're going to actually block creating characters on new servers. Oh god, what the hell. Hold on one second.
Okay. Don't think we read this one. Yeah. So I head straight south. Campbell's Rest. Not bad just traveling um, between these. Sometimes, I mean, the world feels a lot bigger than it actually is sometimes. Um, it does take a bit to travel, of course, because any, any amount of time traveling between locations takes a good amount of time. But uh, also, I don't feel like it. <laughs> that guy's being chased by like four of them. He was running the other way, and then now he's running back that way. Um. Uh, uh, sorry, got distracted. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's it's not horrible. Uh, traveling, but I, I definitely think that having a mount or even just a sprint, like a not your generic like travel speed like it is right now, I feel like even having a sprint could make a huge difference in this. Um, so that way you could, I don't know if it would be like a permanent like sprint button or if it would just be like a Okay, now you can sprint for a little bit. But I don't know. I I personally personally I would like to see mounts in this game, but I don't know if we'll ever actually get them. Um and yeah, I don't know. The travel would feel a lot faster, but I don't know. That's that's just like it's a quality of life improvement, in my opinion. Like it's not like a mount. It's still gonna take you forever to travel from this corner of the map to the top highest mountain in the map with a uh, with a mount. It's still gonna take you a while. It's just right now it would be painful, extremely painful to do that. And. Uh, I don't know when you're already spending so much time doing other stuff in this game like crafting and and manufacturing stuff and or well that's the same as crafting <laughs> but uh crafting you know searching for uh things to gather like crafting gathering killing all of that it, it adds up it really can add up a lot so Having a, a quality of life feature, being able to move even like 10% faster makes makes a difference. Oh God, straight into the water. Thought he was gonna run the other way. This trap. I do like that they added this, uh, the highlighting now. It's really nice. It was probably such an easy filter, or I mean, um, feature to, to put in place too.
All right, I think this is the final trap. Yep, that's it. Cool. So, huh. I mean, we're halfway there. We could go down to the city and then fast travel up to the top. I might just do that, to be honest. If I go up this way. Because we're, we're already in first light. Um, if we can get to the road and then just follow that straight down, then we'll be there in no time. I can't, I, I'm honestly like, whoa. That's cool. Huh. I'm honestly amazed that they really did. If you're too far away from your camp, you can't just kill yourself and then uh, respawn at that area. Like, that's how bad people want to be able to travel between areas as they are willing to force a death to respawn like back at your home location i i do think it's a little i don't know i'm, I'm a big person on uh fast travel and like you could say ease but like when you're in an mmo you want to save as much time as you can like obviously you want to try to make it as as efficient as possible so fast having having the ability to fast travel at any time having a mount for fast faster travel movement when you can't fast travel like all of that combined makes a huge difference um and taking away all of that or not having that that ability also makes a huge difference so it's like oh somebody comes vacuum me um so it, i don't know it, it, that kind of stuff kind of like not not rubs me the wrong way but it's kind of like why are you doing this um it's almost like it's the for the sake of making it people stay in the game longer um like i really don't know like for the sake of, of this game a lot of people always say when it comes to mmos like it's all about the end game and i, I know it's gonna sound cheesy but personally i think it's more about like the journey of like playing through the game and experiencing it and like if there's a good story all of that rather than getting to the end game because personally every time i get to the end game of a game by that point i'm already kind of like starting to check out um with playtime and stuff so you know i don't know make it as fun and enjoyable like as during the leveling system um because then it's like okay well, now that I've hit max level, what do I do now? I don't know if that game has that even planned out right now. Like, I know when I hit level 25 in the beta, or in the preview, uh, we started doing all of the corruption stuff. Um, and that was fun. That was cool. It was, it was a good time running between the locations, like, especially once you get higher up in the world, like up here. You're running between these giant areas and and doing them with other players and it's just like a, an overall good time but like how much of that is also the end gameplay like is that all you do when you get up to this area like is all you're doing just running in between these clearing them out like i don't know I really know nothing about like anything past level 30 i don't know too much for this game um 
on the top of, of other games though and i keep forgetting but literally uh far cry comes out in five days far cry six i i that game is like completely like off my mind at the moment like i keep forgetting about it that it's like about to be here but i guess it's, it's just because like everything else is there's so many games coming out right now it's like over it's overwhelming honestly <laughs> um i know it's gonna sound crazy but like playing an mmo like this again makes me want to play other mmos the other week um i started it off stream but i was actually playing uh guild wars 2 for a bit i created a character um started playing not too much very very little amount but i was enjoying it I've, I've never really fully dived into that game and i feel like i i experienced enough where like okay now i understand how it works it's more so like you're clearing out area events and leveling up so that way you can get to the main story um i also use my you, with prime you get like a a code to get the expansions for like 15 dollars so i i got both of those um and that was pretty much it i did that and then that's where i kind of was like okay this is good enough like for now like not really much else that i need to or want to experience before jumping into like an mmo like this which now we're we're here my my plan was to keep playing this really until i i go away for a week and a half um and also move so out you fellow marauder. but you i don't know how fight. realistic Come that is now Will especially with these queue times I, I can't be every single day just waiting to get into the queue for like three hours ah. like, like I, I literally get done work and i get home and i'm waiting around for another hour and a half in a queue to be able to play if it, if it continues to stay like that if they bring it down and it's like instant login like on the character i'm currently playing then that's fine then that's that's doable and i would keep playing but if it's like that for like the next few days um even potentially tomorrow i i really don't know so that um i can see what this quest is over here Egg yum. Yo, what's going on, anime site? How you doing? Uh, you can grab this. What the is this? Travel to Dayspring Mills and find the abandoned powder kegs. Is that it? That's the quest. Um, it's a level nine quest, so I think I'm gonna pass up on that one. Actually, it's a level ten quest, so I'm gonna pass that. Same thing with this one. These two are complete, so I can actually go hand those in. Uh, that's a town thing, a town thing. 25 turkey <laughs> and wind sword though all right let's go up here let's go back up top I'll probably pin this one because it's not too far out from that location uh and actually it's just straight up recall to the sin good how about you i'm doing pretty good Getting as much time as I can in New World right now.
One second. Okay. Uh, got like four quests to hand in right here. Wait, why? It just says, like, how are you supposed to fish? Where do you fish? Is this a quest to pick up? Pardon I think me. it is. So. Yeah, it is. There are two villages just over in first line. Ah, uh, okay. Go to two. Level 15. What well, boys? Can I see Soldier Pat? He's level 22. Not bad. Take this and that and do this standing in my blade, my life. Choose your next Complete. contribution to our cause. Character. Let's bump this up by three. I'm trying to get that to fifty before I move strength. Once I once I get that up, then I'll move strength up to fifty-two. Rust damage, uh, haste for three seconds after skinning. Interesting. That, that, that. Three points. I'm try making some arrow um, stuff real quick. Wow, I forgot about these. I don't think I've gone into my equipment at all tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff we can probably sell. Was this heavy? No way. Light. Uh, we do get five strength, but that goes down. So I'm going to hold off on that. Medium, medium, no. And some light pants. Actually, yeah, they're better. Seems like. Uh, can we... Patch gem, no gems available. It takes some honey. Let's try selling. What equipment can we sell? A sell order. How many of these are selling currently for 351? <laughs> you always think that you're gonna make more than it actually is. Eight for it. Oh, eight. Okay. Warhammer. Got two perks for this one. Wait, can we see the perks for these other ones? What's this gear score? How much does this sell for? Orders that are buying. Yeah, let's get let's check clothing. Ten or sell order. 63? Okay. Late Greaves. 11. Okay, that's good. Let's hold on to that. Smelter. Make a bunch of iron ore. Or iron 
ingots. Okay. Got that. Uh, let's go to this now. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. where did we go? Now. Now. Wait, what do you need for that? Stone? Stone blocks? Uh, flawed? You need soul meat. Oat. Soul sprouts. I, yeah. Forge. We want to make equipment. We need to make arrows. I think that's our, wait, what is that guy wearing? That's cool. That chest piece is kind of cool. Fish. God. All right, we can make nice, a good amount of steel arrows or iron arrows. Flip those. Flint. Uh, we need more timber to make more. Actually, yeah, let me make some timber. Grab this. And never mind, I need more green wood. So next time we're out getting green wood, I'll, uh, or I'll get, I'll get some more green wood, I mean. Storage, we need to hit up the storage facility. What the heck? Okay. They're like shining. I was like, why is this person shining? But it turns out they're not wearing anything. Or at least they're hiding it. That I didn't see as an option to sell. So I'm going to sell that. Uh, tools, we can throw that away. Uh, let's store, 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 finding. Yeah, we can store those. Uh, store that. Leather working, sure. Let's sort by weight. Stone cutting, alchemy. Cooking, fishing, sure. Craft mods, resources. Actually, let's keep the resources. The feathers. That way we can make some on the fly. Uh, we need timber, right? Um, it looks like we can actually equip some of these again. Are you serious? Did it just crash on me? Oh my god. Oh, oh my God, bro, 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 it just stopped. It just, it just stopped. Oh my God. I swear, dude, if I, if I get put into a queue of like anything over 200, done, I'm done, die in you, I'm done. Oh my God, dude. <laughs>
just awaiting to see what it's at. So I can cry on the pain that this game has given me. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming tonight. Uh, yeah, we got put back into... Oh, my God, dude. I don't understand. Uh, what are we... What, what, what is this? What is this? About to just switch to this server, to be honest. Like, what the hell, dude? We had to choose a server. Ugh. Like, it's not even that bad. Like, look at all these servers. Valhalla is 1776. Like, these servers are so much better. But we're still on one that's, like, crazy high up there. And it's like, this is such a grindy game. So, it's like, if you create a character on another server. Like, the population on these are still high. But, oh, dude, it hurts. It hurts so much. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to.